Let's see. Failure teaches success. Hmm. It does, actually. Because when you're always successful, you just, you get very disappointed. You think when you're failing, it's the end of it. But if you know how to fail, you know that you're, gonna, you're growing. It's a lesson of the not to do's. My name is Nsugi Biela. I'm the winemaker and owner of Aslina Wines, I'm originally from Wazulu Natal from the village, which is the most beautiful space you can ever be in. Because if you compare the village and the, the cities, the peacefulness you get in the village is just amazing. And that's where I come from. Getting into the industry, it was one of those things that it wasn't a plan. I got into it by chance. It was um, an opportunity that actually presented itself. And not that I didn't even know anything about wine, but it was like, there's an opportunity. And I was like, oh, well, it's gonna change my life. And I did it. Through all the struggles, obviously, that I found in the industry, and also that difference in terms of culture, in terms of the place, in terms of people, it, it helped me to, to grow and I managed to navigate um, the space. I started Aslina Wines in 2016 officially launched in 2017, but the very first production was in 2014. I was working for a winery um, for about 13 years, working as a winemaker. Me starting Aslina, it was just growth, progression, to say what's the next step. Even though I knew from the beginning while I was a student that at some point I'm gonna start my own business. And the reason the company was named Aslina it was because of my most amazing, strong woman, my grandmother. I named the company after her to honor her, to pay tribute to her life. Um, even though she's late, but I know she's always with me. When sometimes I hit a wall or I find myself I need to make a decision, sometimes I do ask myself, what would she have done? She was one of those people who nothing was impossible. There was always a way. There was always a way of making something. For me, I think that's the message it also gives to everyone who want to do something. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. We've got four different wines that we, we've made. We've got two white wines and two red wines. And at this moment, we don't have our own farm. We don't have our own vineyards. We don't have our own production facility, but we are growing to that. And each and every wine that I make, it represents the people behind it. It represents the love. It represents authenticity. It represents um, courage. And at the same time, it's one of that for me that when you pour this wine in a glass, where does it take you to? What do you imagine when you're having that wine in the glass? Don't tell me about the pH. Don't tell me about just what does, where does it take you? It must create that memory. It must remind you of your life. It must remind you of certain things that you grew up with. That's what happened whenever I make a wine. I bottled this yesterday, and this is the very first time I'm opening this. This is where I always say, this is the moment, the moment of truth. So when I was gonna make the Chardonnay, I was like, so what is it that I wanna make? I said, I want the one in the middle. I made, decided to make a Chardonnay that is partly wooded from a warmer climate region and also from the cold climate. So I make Chardonnay from Stellenbosch and Elgin. I make them separately. The Elgin one is wooded, the Stellenbosch is unwooded. I leave them on the lease and then I blend it together after 10 months. And so what comes out of that? It's the love in the glass. Oh, the smell, even like just in the glass without even getting it in my mouth. I think what I like here, as I smell this wine, to pick up that, those different flavors, a lot of citrus. It's like there's a, there's a little bit of lime. It's just for me, you are not gonna taste lime if you've never eaten lime. So I might pick up something here and you're gonna smell it and you associate it with something else. So you're going to pick up something that you know. It's going to remind you of things that you know and things that you enjoy. It, it gets on your palate. It stays. It's, it's not heavy. It's, it's, there's a crispiness, but at the same time, it's rich. That balance for me, it's, 
because there's so much going on in the palette. There is just so much. The richness of the wine, for me, is just it's outstanding. The next wine that we have is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Again, looking at the labels of my wine, for me, it was the key to make sure that I connect with my, my background. I connect with where I come from. And so I made sure that the logo, besides naming my company after my grandmother, but also the logo represents that. And that is using a calabash, which is our traditional beer holder. Now I'm linking the two um, part of my life, which is I'm in the wine industry, but I still love drinking my traditional beer. So I'm gonna use the calabash. When we started selling our wines, we started with the international market. As a small company, we didn't have the infrastructure to make sure that the wine gets to the, to the consumer, to make sure that the wine gets to the, peop to the hands of the people who are gonna be drinking it. While with the international market, it's more like you ship the wine and then it's the importer on the other side who actually does the whole distribution. I don't have to worry about the end consumer. There's that bit of earthiness. It's like, you know, when you're walking outside, it's hot and then just a little bit of drizzle of rain. And then you're like, oh, okay. And then that smell, it just, it excites me. But at the same time, when you still go in, you pick up those different fruits, the black currants, pick up a little bit of darker foods. And one of the reasons, because my cabinet, part of it is from the Helderberg and part of it is from Simonsburg. So these two areas, they bring this complexity into the glass. As we taste this wine, I think, as I said earlier, soft tannins, fruit up front, and for me, that's the key. And one of the things that I brought this Chardonnay and this Cabernet Sauvignon, the cab is not a heavy Cabernet Sauvignon. So it means you can have it slightly chilled and have it summertime, but it's a beautiful bold wine, but it's not heavy. It's got structure, it's rich. So that's what you like. With that being said, cheers to Aslina and happy holidays. Thank you very much. My name is Nsugibiela. <laughs>